Peripheral arterial disease primarily affects the extremities, most commonly the legs, leading to reduced blood flow and causing symptoms such as pain, cramping, and fatigue. The interventions involve a series of image-guided, minimally invasive endovascular procedures designed to recanalize and treat the narrowing of major peripheral arteries, thereby restoring adequate blood flow to the affected areas. This animation will demonstrate this minimally invasive procedure through ipsilateral groin access for anterograde entry. First, the skin in the ipsilateral groin area is marked based on the upper and lower margins of the femoral head. Once the ideal location of the common femoral artery for access is identified under ultrasound, the skin entry site is numbed by injecting lidocaine. Next, the ipsilateral common femoral artery is accessed under ultrasound guidance using a micropuncture needle directed toward the target artery affected by atherosclerotic disease, which causes symptomatic narrowing and disrupted blood flow. Upon noting blood return, a microwire is advanced through the needle into the superficial femoral artery. The needle is then exchanged for a transitional sheath, which is advanced over the microwire. The microwire and inner dilator of the transitional sheath are replaced with a larger wire, which is advanced through the transitional sheath into the distal ipsilateral superficial femoral artery. The outer layer of the transitional sheath is then exchanged for a vascular sheath. The dilator of the vascular sheath is removed. At this point, the sheath is aspirated and flushed with heparinized normal saline. An angled catheter is then advanced over the wire, through the sheath, and into the superficial femoral artery to cross the narrowed area and pass beyond the atherosclerotic lesion. The catheter is removed, and an angiogram is performed to assess the nature of the narrowing and determine the appropriate intervention. Four common interventions are considered based on the findings. Conventional angioplasty. A semi-compliant balloon is advanced over the wire to the narrowed area, and angioplasty is performed to restore the segment to the size of the adjacent normal lumen. Drug-eluting balloon angioplasty. In some cases, a drug-eluting balloon is preferred. The balloon is advanced over the wire to the narrowed area, and angioplasty is performed. The balloon is typically kept inflated for a few minutes to allow the drug to penetrate the vessel wall. Balloon angioplasty with stenting. Depending on the resistance and location of the diseased segment, the vessel may first be treated with a smaller balloon angioplasty, followed by the deployment of a balloon expandable conventional or drug-eluting stent for improved patency for accurate placement of the stent. Self-expandable stenting. Alternatively, the disease segment may be treated with balloon angioplasty, followed by the deployment of a self-expandable conventional or drug-eluting stent for better flexibility. Once luminal patency is achieved, the catheters and wires are removed. Finally, the sheath is gently withdrawn and eventually removed while manual pressure is applied to the artery's entry site in the groin.